Good morning, folks, family, friends. This is the Swerge and Drunk. I haven't drank beer in three years now, but anyhow, check out my squash. I think I figured out how to grow these things and control the squash bugs. First off, I'm growing them in grow bags. Just get them up off the ground, which is about similar to raised beds. These things right here, if you don't control them, squash bugs, then you don't get much of a harvest and plants die, but man, look how beautiful these things are. Of course, them squash bugs, they are persistent. Every morning and every evening before I go to bed, I come out here and I'll bring my, get my water holes I got laying here. Down here, and I take and spray the plant with this water. Not always, but if there's a squash bug in there, he'll come walking out. Of course, he's being shy if he is. Don't see one coming out. It's usually pretty quick within the first few seconds. Well, none on this one, thankfully, which is a good sign. Let's walk around. I done done this and got one squash bug off it, but I'll check to see if there's another one on there. The bumblebees is that good on it. I don't see no more. I got one a few minutes ago. Let's walk over here to some of these others. I also scatter these things out. I don't put them all in bunched up together. And then that way, if the squash, when the squash bugs do find the plants, they don't find them all at the same time. Back in the spring, I planted them all in a hill, several plants and they got covered up squash bugs I mean I didn't get much harvest out of them but so far I've been covered up with squash this fall generally don't take long when that water hits will may come running but as you can see, it don't look like there's one on this one. Other than a bumblebee. Well, let's try the next. There's a black wagon in the way. And these plants are beautiful plants. Even if they didn't produce squash. Uh, maybe I can stir one up if there's one in there. Hopefully there ain't none in there. If you've ever grown squash and you ever sprayed them, you'll know how them squash bugs are. They hate water. About like Millie, our dog. She hates water too. She hates this water hose. Well, should have videoed that first plant I sprayed, but didn't think about it when I sprayed it. Let's go to this. Try and get this water hose around. I tired up a pepper plant. Find a good spot. To Get in here, the bumblebee. Got the water these things anyhow, so I 
they are just not cooperating well it's that's one thing uh, I've been doing done this yesterday evening before I went to bed so before it got dark so just not finding many which is good No squash bug. This method works so well, you, I can't even get one to come out. If there ain't one there to get at, then I don't guess he'll come out. By the way, that was my beer box. That's Mary's. Hadn't had a beer in three years. Bitch. I'm not bragging, but I sure would like to have one, but I had to give it up for health reasons. Digestive heart failure do it. All right, little motion detector and motion alerted to me to me walking. Let's see if I got one in here. This is my last chance. Well, bumblebee stirred. There he is. See you, Mer. When they come out walking, they easy to catch. You just grab him and give him a good squish. I don't see any more. And it don't take just a few seconds. Maybe ain't get too drunk watching this video. Anyway, that is the way to control squash bugs while you water your plants. I do recommend growing them like this. I got them separated here in the yard around and that way they seem to not be blocking them all and then they spread out like that you can also get around and see what's in the on the plants easier plus in the grow bags it's like growing them in a raised bed and it's just a whole lot easier on my poor old back. Alrighty, folks. Figured I'd give you a tip on the squash bugs and how to, a good way to take care of them, manage them in your garden. Talk to you later. Bye.